Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I'm here to share the word of God with you. If we go in the book of Proverbs 24 verse 10, you understand that the Bible said, if you faint in the days of adversary, your strength is little. You did not faint because there is no God. You fainted simply because your strength is little. I want you to understand why we encourage people to fast and why we encourage people to pray is to prepare you for this spiritual warfare. A lot of people don't understand that challenges is actually a spiritual warfare. You understand that if the devil cannot make you lose your fire in God, if the devil cannot make you lose your prayer life, if he cannot make you lose your passion for God, he will definitely have a strategy to make yourself give up. So you see, when adversaries, when challenges and when affliction comes to us, is because they are simply coming to try our strength. See what uh, Satan did to Job. He had this accusation that he said to God that Job simply just loved God and he serves God faithfully because God had blessed him. So God gave him the permission to afflict Job. So the affliction of Job was not that Job had done anything to God. It's because Satan wanted to try the strength of Job. How long will he keep up? If he loses his children, if he loses his property, if he loses everything that God has given him, will he still be able to stand and say that God is my God? God. And will he be able to stand in that righteousness that God has put his confidence in Job, that Job is a man that loves him and serves him faithfully. So you see, Satan was trying to test the passion, he was trying to test actually the strength of Job. So a lot of people you know, it's okay to be on fire. It's okay to love God. It's okay to do things for God. And it's even okay to serve God. But the devil has a strategy for you. You need to be ready for that spiritual warfare. That's your battle that you are facing. That all of a sudden they demoted you. The time you started fire prayer. They almost, they all of a sudden uh, demoted you. The time you started the powerful time of meditation. Powerful time of prayer and fasting. A lot of people think that when they are fasting and praying they should expect good things to happen but you'll be shocked that some of you bad things will start to happen why because the devil is trying to try your strength for how long can you go on these 21 days of fasting can you complete them so you see that the devil is very strategic in trying to bring down children of god but that's why the word of the lord say that if you faint in your time of affliction if you faint in the time of your your problems and troubles is because you have not eaten enough up. The angel of the Lord said to Elijah, eat and drink for the journey is far. So had you fed yourself enough? Had you spent more time in prayer? Had you spent more time in the word that when the day of adversary come, you can still stand and you can still stand on the strength that you have acquired in your secret place, in your time of fasting, in your time of prayer. So I want you to know that your challenge is not going to kill you. It's a battle, but then on the other hand, is spiritual warfare. You don't see it. You don't see why the devil is bringing all these things around you. The day you decided that you are going to serve God faithfully, you are going to be faithful with everything that concerns God. This is why the devil is doing this thing. Why? He wants to see how long are you going to continue tithing? How long are you going to continue praying and fasting? How long will you keep up this your midnight prayer? How long will you keep up this your long fasting? For how long will you go? You know, a lot of people, you were on fire by the time the devil punched you with one punch of a misunderstanding in a relationship. That was the last time you are fasted. It was the last time you are prayed. Now I want to tell you something. The battle is against your strength. A lot of people, you are not stop praying because Satan made you to stop praying. It was yourself that gave up prayer. So this is what the devil wants. So I'm here to encourage you that the affliction, the trouble, the battle you are facing, it's actually a test of your strength. I want you to remain standing. Do not let your strength wear it down. So remain in the place of prayer because those that wait on the Lord shall surely renew their strength and they'll mount up on wings like eagle. You are about to hit the next level of your promotion if you remain in your place of fasting and prayer. May God bless you. And